Welcome to Inside the Courtroom. I'm Hallie Murrow. Greg, welcome back. It's so good to see you. Last week, we talked about what the legal defense team does and what type of cases your team handles. Something that's been in the news lately is civil forfeiture laws. Do we have that in South Carolina, and are you familiar with that? We do have civil forfeiture laws in South Carolina. Uh, they're prevalent in most states, and that exists in South Carolina. It's been in the news some lately, uh, and it's something where police are legally able to confiscate people's money under certain circumstances. Very briefly, what is civil forfeiture and how does that occur? It occurs in different settings, but it's primarily where the police uh, usually stop a vehicle or, or doing a search warrant. Uh, they find drug proceeds or, and or money, uh, and then they, they seize the money. They take the money on the site uh, and it goes to the police department and ultimately is uh, counted and deposited in, a, in their bank account. Do you help folks um, with these types of things? We have done it in the past. It's not really the focus of our practice, but it's certainly been in the news because, you know, the government has the ability to tax people. That's part of our society and, the, and, and what we agree to as a society. Uh, this is something extra. Uh, there have been a lot of issues in the news where people uh, had money taken from them uh, and they were not charged with a drug offense. And so that's put it front and center in some respects because there are a lot of people that think that law enforcement uh, should not be taking cash from people on the side of the road. If people need more information about your practice, how can they find you? Uh, CompleteLegalDefenseTeam.com, just Google us. Uh, we're easy to locate. Thank you so much for being with us, Greg, and thank you guys for joining us here on Inside the Courtroom.